Hi everybody, this is Julian from RC. In this video, we're going to build a new workflow with RC Orchestra. In this example, we're going to build a workflow to answer energy-related questions. So first, we're going to walk through the workflow node by node, looking at how we can retrieve energy-related information from PDF files and other documents. And we're also going to run a search on Google Search to retrieve some articles. And then we're going to use a small language model to summarize all that information into an HTML document, which we'll send to the user by email. Okay, let's get started. As usual, the workflow starts with a start node and the input variable for this is just the user question. We're going to take this user question and we're going to use it in two ways. First, we're going to run a Google search on the question. We're going to do this through the uh, Compose Your Search integration, which is very simple. Uh, we just need to pass the question and of course we'll retrieve search results and we will use those articles in the report that we write. We're also going to use the question for knowledge retrieval. So this is one of the important nodes uh, available in RC Orchestra. So as the name implies, we can use the user question to retrieve um, meaningful information from documents. So in this case, I've attached a bunch of PDF files and that retrieval node is going to find um, chunks in these documents that are related to my question. And, and you could use this in different scenarios. You know, you could have product documentation, you could have uh, customer support documentation, etc., etc. So here, we're interested in energy, right? And we're just passing the question and we hope that the retrieval node will do its job. So next, we take those two outputs, the, uh, the list of uh, URLs coming from Google search and the document chunks, and we feed them to a model node. And here I'm using virtuals or large. As we can see, we have three parameters. So we have the knowledge retrieval uh, data, we have the Google search uh, results, and we have the original question. And my prompt is, you know, something like this, as an energy uh, analyst, answer the question using the context and the search results, passing all the good stuff here. And I'm asking for this particular structure, an analysis of the question, a detailed answer, and a list of relevant links so that you know, I could keep diving into the problem using those articles, okay? And I want to have HTML formatting here. And the last step is just this email integration step where I'm emailing myself the report. Okay, the subject will be just a question, the body will be obviously the output from the previous node and I'm making sure we get HTML, okay? So that's, of course, we can run the workflow uh, manually just to test it. We could just enter a question here and run the test, but let's run it in the chat directly. Okay, so let's just go and ask our question and our question will be this. Uh, what is the impact of AI data centers on electricity consumption? Give me a regional breakdown. Let's see. So we can see the workflow as executed and the model here is returning a summary of the answer. And I should also get uh, an email, right? So let's go to my email and see what we got there. Here's the answer I got. And uh, we can see it is HTML. So that's a good start. So we get a first global impact answer and then we get answers for each part of the world. And we can see that that retriever has done his job because there is information uh, that is pretty fresh and very unlikely to be present in the model itself. Right, so that's pretty good. And then we have the collection of links retrieved by our uh, uh, Google search integration. Right, and of course we could keep reading about this. All right, so this is a nice little example on using an RC Orchestra workflow to retrieve information from in-house documents, in this case, energy documents, uh, also running Google search 
to expand the, the scope of our answer. And uh, of course, using a model to uh, generate a good story and send us an email about it. So that's it for this one. Hope you liked it. If you have questions, please ask your questions in the comments. And until next time, keep rocking.